Ah, more dangerous women. What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Shatter. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So out front here, we have Shatter. Her name is Shatter from the Bumblebee movie Transformers. On the side of the box, we have Shatter. On the other side of the box, we have Shatter. She is a deluxe class, a class of Lucy, a class of Neural Class, a class of a tough Bumblebee. Transformers Bumblebee. On the bottom, words and things and barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. You also have a uh, one sentence bio there in multiple languages. Hooray for languages. Things, stuff, stuff. Things. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along here we have Shatter as she appeared in the Bumblebee movie. And here she is in her car mode and she transforms into a 1971 Plymouth GTX. And the only reason I know that is because it's printed on the box. Otherwise I would not have known and I don't care anyway because I'm not a car guy. But hey it's a nice car. It's a nice looking car. But uh, let's get in close here. So we can take a look at the details. You have the front here done in all silver, which looks quite nice. Even a little dot right there, which I'm sure is supposed to be the emblem. And you got the engine done in a gunmetal gray. The car itself done in red and black, so I automatically love it. And you can see the windows and the windshields all done in transparent plastic. 722 there on the back. On the back, you got some silver paint as well. But not too shabby. There's the top. There is the bottom. It rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for hurling. And for comparison, uh, here she is with her partner, Dropkick. So you can see how they look together. Here she is with Bumblebee. Here she is with the uh, Studio Series Clunker Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. And here she is with Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So, that is basically it for the vehicle mode. What you see is what you get. So, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's get back here, girl. Get back. Now, uh, this figure does suffer from uh, pop-offage. Yes, things do like to pop off on this figure, uh, namely her arms and these side sections of the car do like to pop off. Now, I can usually get her into car mode without anything popping off, but getting her back into robot mode without anything popping off, that's all a different story, but we're going to try. We're going to try to get this done without anything popping off. We're going to give it the old college try, even though I never went to college, but... First thing you want to do is you want to raise up her arm and remove her weapons and put those off to the side like so. Once you've done that, you're going to take this panel. Usually this one comes undone on its own. Just untie that panel and just swing that down and out of the way. Come down here, untie that, and just bring that down and out of the way. And now we're going to undo these side sections here. I always leave a little gap. I don't. I never have this sitting totally flush because when it is flush it's nigh impossible to get a fingernail in there to get it undone so I always leave a little bit of a gap in there just so I can get my fingernails in and we're just going to very gently try to pry this off and pray that it doesn't pop off there we go hey it stayed on all right now I'm gonna do it on this side and get them on. there we go hey it all stayed on there we go Smooth sailing from here, smooth sailing from here. That's the only tense part. So now we can come to the back here and just bring up the rear bumper. That will untab what will be her legs and free all that up. Free all that up. And now what you're gonna do is we're gonna take this whole top section here and just raise it up. It helps if you take the uh, center section of the hood and kind of angle that down a little bit. And just pull all that up like so. Once you've done that, take this back section, just flip this up, take this, 
flip that all the way up and then you take this section here and you just collapse that up like so. And once you've done that, you can take these side sections here, just bring them out to the side like that for now. So now that we've done that, we can work on her legs. So you want to come down here, you want to take the wheel and pull it out to the side because her foot does tab into the side of the wheel here, right up in there. So pull that out, that frees up her foot. And we can just bring that down and then fold it back on this hinge here. And there you have a foot. And then we just take this section here, we just untab it, rotate it around like so. You want to take the wheel and this will flip in on that hinge and then this will just go right into our calf like that. And then you take this side panel here and this will just swing back behind her leg like so. And there you have leg all done. Second bus is just like the fast. So, unpeg the foot, bring that down, bring that back, and just undo that, rotate it around, and flip in the wheel, flip in the wheel, and take this panel here, swing it to the back like so, and there you have the legs all done. So now I'm moving on to the upper body. You want to take these little red panels here now and you want to swing them to the front like so. Swing it to the front like that. And then we can take her arms here and just bring them out to the side like so. And these bits will just come down in front of her shoulders like that. And once you do that, you know, just make sure the uh, backpack is out of the way. Take the central section, bring it down, and then just swing this around to reveal her head. Just a little nub there, just go whoop, right in there. Straighten out her head. And then you just take the backpack, you bring it up, and that will just tab in right there, like so. You can take these now, and you can bring them down. You can angle them however you want. Now you take this section here, bring that up to complete a chest and a midsection there. Then we just straighten out our forearms like so. And I think we're done. Oh, we're done. Yes, we're done. We're done. And there you have Shatter in her robot mode. And she looks pretty good. She looks pretty good, in my opinion. Just unfortunate uh, with the pop offage, though. Um, I mean, as you saw, I got her into robot mode without anything popping off. But you have to be gentle about it. That's the thing. You do have to be gentle about it. If you know, if you're ham-handed with it, yeah, the arms are gonna pop off. These side bits, you know, like they pop off real easy. You know, it, that that does suck. It is that you have to be gentle about it to make sure nothing pops off. It's doable, but you know. It, it does suck that you have to be gentle about it. They really should just should have just made this stuff a bit more secure. As far as the shoulders go, I mean, you can always fix that with some uh, with some floor polish, some nail polish. You know, again, just on ball joints. So, that, I mean, the shoulders is an easy enough fix as far as these parts go. Um, I don't know if using some floor polish or nail polish on that would maybe tighten that up so they won't pop off. I don't know if that would really do the trick. Not really sure. Don't know if anyone's tried. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know, but. It's not a deal breaker for me, but yeah. But anywho, yeah, there is Shatter in robot mode. Let's get it closer yeah, so we can take a look at that head sculpt. Pretty nicely done, as you can see. It's uh, her with her kind of battle mask on, but still looks pretty good. You get some gunmetal gray up in there, a little bit of silver. Definitely not a bad looking. Head sculpt. You can see a chest piece going all the way down to the midsection here. All done in a gunmetal gray. Looks quite, quite nice. Some nice mold detail going on in there. Got some silver and some gold up in here as well, which looks quite nice. Some more of that gunmetal gray. Some nice detail here in the forearms, which are also painted. With some nice detail going on here. The feet. And moving up the back. She does have, you know, 
the roof of the car backpack going on there. But yeah, it is what it is. But articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. You can get some good wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. She can look up a very good bit. She can total squirrel. She can totally do that. She can look down. Head can rotate a full 360. The shoulders are on a ball joint. They can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You can even get a bit of forward movement due to transformation as well. Uh, you get rotation right above the elbow there. The elbows give you slightly over 90 degrees of bend, and it's not like a little soft ratchet joint. You can feel a little, see little indentations there. There's a little bit of thoopage going on as you bend the elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist, uh, nothing at the waist, just due to the way she transforms. Legs kind of move forward that far. She can do them high kicks. And back, not only that far, outward, due to the way her thighs are shaped, her hips are shaped, uh, that's as far outward as you're going to get. So not a lot of outward movement there on the hips, unfortunately. You do get a bit of rotation right there. You do get rotation right above the knee, and oops, undid her backpack. You stay, you stay. As far as knees go, you get... 90 degrees of a bend because, you know, these panels and whatnot will get in the way. It is a double-jointed knee, but that's as far as you're going to get just due to the way everything is sitting back there. And the feet, they can move up, they can move down, and that is pretty much it. And, of course, we can give her her weapons here. So two little forearm blasters, just cast in black. Pretty nicely detailed, and they just peg right into her forearms, like so. And she can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here she is with her partner in crime, Dropkick. Here she is with Bumblebee. Here she is with the clunker bumblebee. And here she is with Voyager Prime. So you can see how that works out. And in case anybody's wondering, uh, these are these are stickers I put on his shoulders that I got from Toy Hacks. Toyhacks.com. T-O-Y-H-A-X.com. It's just the uh the clear backed uh white outline faction symbols. So yeah. I put those on his shoulders. So now he looks all nice and accurate like. But anyway, those are those two together. So there you go. And of course, the last thing to talk about is the included display base, which is in the box. Woo! Now we open it up, and you have the gas station there from the movie. And as always, Studio Series. 40 Transformers Autobot symbol, Bumblebee movie logo, and we can take Shatter here and just plop her down. As always, makes for a nice little display if you want to take advantage of it. So there you have Shatter, and uh, yeah, she definitely has her issues, um, you know, namely uh, things popping off while you're trying to transform her. As you saw, it is possible to transform her without anything popping off, but you have to be gentle about it, and, and that definitely sucks. The arms popping off is easy enough to fix with some floor polish, nail polish, so, you know, th that's an easy enough fix. Uh, the side portions of the car hood, don't know if that's as easy a fix, but the shoulders are definitely something you can remedy. Uh, articulation in the hips is definitely hindered, um, you know, as far as the outward movement goes, not a lot of outward movement, so yeah, articulation is uh, definitely limited as far as the legs go. So, while it is a good-looking figure, it looks good in robot mode, it looks good in the vehicle mode, um, unfortunately, it does have its issues, so. There you go! Now, this latest wave of Studio Series toys is starting to pop up at Walmarts already, so you can always check your local Walmart to see if they have these in stock. You can also check BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. You can also check out my Transformers Movie Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Shatter. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Pull in your face. Don't worry, Shatter. Once we find B-127, he'll be all ours. Nobody can help him. <clears throat> what the... Th ah! Well, that was easy enough. Hey, B, I just did your job for you. You're welcome. <laughs>